Hello and welcome to my Minecraft video. This is episode number 10, I believe, of my Let's Play Solo Survival series. I'm Honeysuckle and today we're going to build my horse stable. Now I have been collecting up some supplies that I think I'll be needing. It did take a little bit longer than I thought to get all the wool I needed. I ended up dying those uh, undyed sheep in there, went ahead and dyed them red just to make the collecting go a little faster. In the meantime, while I was waiting for all that, I did get a few things done. I don't know if you've seen all this stuff, but I'll show it to you real quick. I did get a mine shaft built. It's a basic storage. I have a mine cart going back and forth. Uh, that's one that picks up from the bottom and delivers here to the top. That just goes down there, and I've made a few branch mines down there. And right here, I have an auto smelter. It's basically, uh, you just use hoppers. There's hoppers going from this chest into this furnace, and there's hoppers under these chests going into the sides. This is where you put your coal on the sides to feed into the furnace, and at the top you put whatever you want to be smelted. And it'll automatically feed it through and come out at the bottom. So that's handy. On my fields I have my wheat, my carrots are full. I did go ahead and get my pumpkins and melons going. Tried to get no wasted space here. There's a water source block under there and there. I've got my sugar cane. I do need to get some more lily pads through there. Or I believe I could put carpet. I'm not sure which I'll do. My tree farm is coming along nicely. Oops. Now the spruce trees never did grow when I put them side by side by side. So I ended up doing them in fours so they'll just grow up into the big tall ones. And I was able to get three of them in the same general length. And of course my oak trees, my dark oak. I've been throwing the raw wood in this chest here and the saplings. So over here, I did lay it out. Now this is five with an extra for the wall, four in the middle, and then another five. Except that's not another five. I think I just missed a cobblestone there. And we can do that real quick. Okay, so we're ready to build this stable, and I believe I'm going to go ahead and do that in a time lapse, just to make it hurry up. So once it's done, I will come back and talk about what we've done. So let's go ahead and start the time lapse now. Enjoy!
Okay, I think you can see by now what I'm doing here. Just separating it out into stalls. I do have two gates in the middle because horses need a space of two to get through. So if you open both gates, they can get through just fine. Uh, I do need to make just a few more gates. So I want to go ahead and do that. Finish up the roof. And when I come back, it should be completed and ready to move in the horse. Alright, so I will be back in just a bit. Alright, and here is the completed stable. We'll go ahead and take a quick tour. Those doors up top. I'll explain that in a little bit. I did put oak logs right here at the doorway and removed all the surface dirt and replaced it with regular dirt. Um, grass should not spread in here so it will stay a dirt floor, which I rather like the look of it for a stable. Now upstairs I have the loft doors at either end and they don't really go anywhere. It just comes out onto the roof. I do have a chest here on each end. I'll put fence posts for tying them up if you go traveling. Put some leads in here, golden apples, sugar, you know, just horsey stuff, saddles. I'm also going to decorate up a little bit. I was going to place just like a few hay bales up here, but first I want to make sure that we take care of the horses and do need some water. So let me grab that real quick. I'm just going to make an infinite water source over here because I want to take care of the horses. That is not what I to do. There we go. So if we just really quickly make an infinite water source, then the horses, of course, need food and water. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a cauldron with water, and then some hay. And we'll do that in each stall. Now these middle ones I can't put it right up against the fence or the horses will jump out. So we'll just go ahead and decorate up here real quick. I know it's not necessary to have this stuff in here. I just think it looks pretty good. And I want my horses to be able to enjoy their time in here. So we'll make sure they all have food and water. I'm short a couple of cauldrons. I thought this stable was big enough for four down each side. It's actually big enough for eight. Sorry, not eight total. Five down each side for a total of ten stalls. So I'm just going to make two more cauldrons real quick. go. Fill that up. Come over here, place another cauldron. Fill 
that up. We need a couple more filled up again. Grab some more water. It's filled. This needs some. And this needs some. And we're done. Just close all these gates. I'll close them, not open them. So we are ready to move the horse in. So we'll go ahead and do that. Sorry, buddy. Just go ahead and put him right here. See, with the two gates, they can walk right in. Uh, I do hit my head when I jump off. That might be a problem, but I'm not that worried about it. So there you go. Happy horse. Nice looking stable. Let's go ahead and fill this in now because I don't need this water right out here. And I'll probably remove these as well because I don't really need them. So this is the stable. And I can keep up to 10 horses, donkeys, mules, just whatever. So I think that's all I'm going to do in the video today, but for next time, I did want to show you I'm setting out another little area, and I want this to be a little cooking center. Keep all my food in it, so food storage with some furnaces to cook up and all that stuff. So all my food, meat, vegetables, everything will be kept in this little place. And... I might also take you on a journey next time to the nether. I have been there already a few times. And I'm going to explore a bit and keep trying to find a jungle biome and a desert biome because I too still want those cocoa beans for the brown color and the cactus for the green color. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. And we'll come back when I have something to show. Hopefully I'll have found those biomes. So, we will talk to you next time. Bye!